Unless you're in the dollar meta, Madden 23 is really a game where you can't blitz that frequently. This is due to the threat detector ability that so many players run, indicating who's blitzing on third and fourth downs. However, in today's YouTube video, I'm going to share with you a way to get sneaky A-gap pressure out of my favorite defensive formation. Let's get into it. What is up, guys? Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get sneaky and inconspicuous A-gap pressure out of the big nickel over G. Now, just last week, I put out a twist blitz that you guys can utilize against tight formations in which we get a defensive lineman's loop all the way around. However, this blitz setup here today is going to be a blitz setup that you guys can utilize against five out offenses, particularly those bunch spread type metas or even tight offenses where they like to leak the running back out if you don't want to run the twist blitz from last week's video. Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to remind you that Gridiron Game Plans is running its Madden 24 pre-sale. If you guys haven't taken advantage of this yet, the offer ends on August 1st. You guys can get 35% off our yearly membership. That is weekly vault updates, keep you on top of the pro metas and their counters. All offensive and defensive game plans complete with AP updates as the season progresses and metas shift. And also Discord access with our weekly lab sessions inside of those discords where you can ask me and other madden players how to get better at the game now let's go ahead and get into the setup here for today's video now for this blitz to work at its absolute peak you guys are going to want to utilize something known as the blitz x factor for those that don't know the blitz x factor is a passive x factor that will activate on theme team remix items and some aka items as well i want to say that mad max is an item that also gets this x factor but if you guys go and find a theme team remix defensive lineman particularly the defensive tackles you'll see that this says starts on on field blockers will have their resistance bars wiped charge up is going to be five downs on online head-to-head -head. now this is going to be key because we have to worry about the resistance on the offensive line resetting otherwise this blitz will be a little bit inconsistent now the other thing that we're going to want to talk about here with this blitz is going to be agility and change of direction i'm going to try to show you guys that with this particular blitz you're looking to get players that have really tight turn radius that don't really lose speed as they're trying to bend in through the a gap You'll notice a big difference if you use someone like Ted Hendricks on this blitz or Julius Peppers through the A-gap versus, say, for instance, Curse, the golden ticket item that we're going to be using mostly in this video. I'll also mention that there are items in this year's game that are ultimate items. So if you guys want to take a look, we have uh, these items such as Derek Brooks or Kiko Alonso. Those Mold Breakers items have 99 everything, including agility and change of direction as well. So if you want to use guys like that for this blitz, absolutely feel free. So let's go ahead and take the field here. We're going to show you guys how to run this. I'm going to set this to base align on. And really with this, I would prefer that you guys turn the auto flip off as we're going to want the nickel corner always to the right with this blitz. So let's go ahead and call any play we want. And again, this is great against anybody that likes to throw quick to the running back or the tight end in the flat as we're going to be able to kind of bait them into those throws and kind of play a hard flat style coverage. So with this particular setup, all we're going to do is we are going to shift our defensive line to the right. What this is going to do is it's going to line up our nose tackle head up on the center. We're going to have a defensive tackle basically head up on the offensive right tackle, and we're going to have an edge rusher to the outside of him. From there, we are going to crash our defensive line out. This is basically going to be left on the D-pad and then the right thumbstick up. And you're going to see that it crashes those angles out. With this particular blitz, the most important player is going to be the nose tackle, as we are going to get him to engage with the center and also hopefully with the left guard, which is going to open up the A gap for this player to come through, as you guys saw in the early setup. Now, as far as our user goes, it's going to be up to you and it's going to differ from roster to roster. So everyone's going to have their own preference. Some players are going to want to stand a little bit closer. Some players are going to stand head up on the guard and maybe a little bit further back. Some players are going to want to stand over here. Kind of fiddle around with this based off of what your roster and who your user is. But it's going to be somewhere in this area. And what we're going to do here is we're going to note that when they snap the ball, you're going to see that the center and the guard kind of end up 
double teaming that nose tackle. And that allows the guy to come straight through the A-gap in for the pressure. So as we take a look at the instant replay here, note how the nose tackle engages with the center and the guard is trying to kind of double team. And that opens up the A-gap for Curse over on the left to come screaming in and get pressure. Now, this is, again, going to be something that is very important to be utilized with the Blitz X Factor. If we were to take a look at the little shadows underneath of the offensive lineman as we click around, Hutchinson has no resistance built up against him by the left tackle. Randall has no resistance by either players who blocked him in the previous example. Simmons, same deal. Smith, same deal. And if we were to actually move this player around, you see that hitting this A-gap, there's no resistance from Curse as a blitzer as well. So this is something that is really, really important as it pertains trying to get this blitz to work consistently. If you don't have fresh resistance on this, this is less likely to work. So again, with this setup, we are going to shift our defensive line to the right. We are going to crash them out. And we are going to blitz A, the linebacker A. From here, if you guys want to adjust your coverage, definitely feel free. One of my favorite things that I like to do is a setup that looks just like this, where I'll put the middle third basically as the nickel corner dropping off the line. This allows him to kind of drop inside and take away those quick high point throws to the point man or the tight end off the line. It allows me to play hard flats out in the flat against throws to the tight end and the running back. And it also gives me the outside thirds over the top for corner routes, C routes, and hole shots down the left sideline. Again, with our user on this play, it's going to vary. You'll see here when the ball is snapped, you're going to get that A-gap rush. Even if they respond to it and they kind of peel back over, that guy's coming off that block really quickly due to leverage purposes. So again, here as we kind of set this up, it's a very quick setup. Make sure you crash up to make sure that your guy hits the A-gap correctly. If you do not crash up, he'll choose a different angle. Again, sometimes you'll want to stand a little bit closer, a little bit further away. It's going to vary from player to player. But you see here that even if you kind of like strafe in front of the center, that will actually help hold the center's attention so that that player can hit the A-gap clean. This is also great because, again, in most cases, if you guys are using somebody like Peppers, which is a fan favorite, he's really tall. So if they like to throw, you know, posts over the middle, usually he can lurk it. But again, you see right here with us kind of strafing in front, I don't have to worry about a throw to the flat because I could play a hard flat over there. I could play a hard flat over here. And again, you see that the throw down the seam is gonna be a pass breakup as well. So in a lot of cases with these flat, flat, and then some sort of vertical in a corner or post, this is a really good blitz against this type of five out approach that will get you a lot of success if you mix it in well. Again, I think that it's really important that you guys try to mix this in on early downs. And what I wanna show you guys here is that we do have the flexibility to kind of call different coverage shells out of this as well. Um, if you guys wanna turn your match on, feel free. Uh, again, with this, the thing that I think is really important is that uh, you guys will definitely wanna pay attention to resistance. So um, when the blitz X factor is off, the offensive line can start to build resistance. Now, we just had a rep uh, where it did work when the blitz x factor is off you'll note that sometimes it doesn't work as well or you really have to get aggressive with where you're standing to make it work uh but as the plays develop over and over with the blitz x factor off you will note from time to time that this actually uh starts to get picked up because you'll notice resistance is being built now fortunately for us resistance isn't a guarantee with this x factor off there's no guarantee that they will build a bar of resistance every play. And the other thing is you have to remember that it's not that long before he gets his X factor back. So even if the, you can't go to this blitz for a couple plays, you're going to be okay because once he turns back on, it's going to make the offensive linemen basically forget the different blitz calls that have been run against them. And the targeting that you'll see will be a little bit different. So you, you see right here, Still pretty good A-gap. Um, you notice that as I've kind of stood right behind that defensive tackle, it's really helped me out a fair amount. So if you guys want to, definitely feel free to you know mix this in. This is just out of match. You don't have to turn match on. You could play kind of quarters with this and, and blitz. You, know, you could kind of walk these guys down and take away some of those quicker throws over the middle. Play this as kind of like a cover four drop blitz. Um, you know, it's kind of up to you what you want to do. But again, you see right here, as we've kind of had a few reps the center is starting to get smart to it, get back to it over and over and over. And then after a few more plays, we'll note that uh, the Blitz X Factor will turn back on and we'll be able to get those 
gap pressures once again. If we kind of take a look at the resistance, now we're starting to build quite a bit. Uh, this is really important. So again, as you see right here, when we try to set this up, uh, it, you know, when there is resistance, if you can kind of like get into this interaction right there, that'll help a lot. But it isn't a guarantee that the center won't get smart and kind of get back to it. Now, again, you know, if you really want to finesse it, ideally, you're kind of standing right here and, and really not trying to make it look like, oh, yeah, I'm blitzing. But I do understand at the same time if, you know, they're, um, you know, able to block it. From this finesse style look if you really just get down right into the center's grill uh this can work as well the other thing is a lot of times when players see you kind of doing something like this their instinct in a lot of cases is to actually throw the ball to the running back which uh kind of makes the whole flat with you know especially like a uh you know like a, a avalanche or a ko on that side of the field really viable so in, in a lot of these cases, you know, if they're going to throw the ball immediately out to the flat, you know, this could be a knockout or some sort of avalanche hit that could force a fumble. So that's a large part of the way that I play defense. And this is one of my better blitzes that I can mix in against players that like to go five out and throw quick to the flat. Uh, so if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're kind of unloading the chamber here at the end of 23. But again, with that Madden 24 pre-sale, you can expect that this type of content is going to be on the website for the members of the website. So make sure you guys check it out. We'll see you guys on Monday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.